Hello my friends, hello my friends and welcome to my kitchen. It is Wednesday and it is uh, just six o'clock. So if you're on, say hi. If you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay. I have got you situated a little bit differently tonight and that's because we are using the stove top. So uh, I am streaming this to my VIP page as well as I'm recording it for, hi Sherry, uh, I'm recording it for my YouTube channel. So what are we making tonight? So tonight we are going to make some chicken fried rice. So uh, I have, it wasn't in the Epic Box this month, but um, I have a hankering for some chicken fried rice. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. So I have my four cup prep bowl. I have our seasoning package that I'm going to open here with my scissors. And so this package goes into a bowl just to bloom. So we're going to stand back. <laughs> All right. So that's going in there. We need two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. So I am using my four and one measuring spoon. There's one and two. So there's two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. And we're going to use two tablespoons of water. And we need one, we need one tablespoon of sesame oil. And I'm also going to throw a shot of sesame oil into our wok because we're going to get our ground turkey into the wok. And in that goes. All right, then we're just gonna use our whisk and we're going to whisk that together. So let's just get that whisk together. So you can see it comes out really quick. And we're just gonna set that aside. So that's what it looks like. There is our dressing for our chicken fried rice. So we are just going to set that over there. All right, so like I said, we have a pound of extra lean ground. Uh, tonight I'm using turkey instead of chicken, just because I used chicken the other night when I did our um, butter chicken burgers. So tonight we're using ground turkey and we're just going to get this into our frying pan. And take out our paper that was in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so our ground turkey's in there. We're just going to break it up with our meat separator. And we are using our wok tonight because it's a deep, it's really deep. And um, what's going to go in with this is we're going to use a package of um, pre chopped coleslaw. And I bought some. Um, bean sprouts. So that's all we're putting in here tonight. Uh, you could use leftover rice, so brown rice or, or white rice, or you could make rice in your steamer in your microwave and throw that in. I'm, I, to be honest with you, don't miss the rice. Um, and I'm trying low, car low carb again, trying to get some weight off. So, um, yeah, I don't miss the rice in this dish. 
I find that with the coleslaw and the bean sprouts, um, I don't need it. So, anyway. So you could use leftover rice if you are going to make this and you know you're going to make this the night before. You could put your rice into the microwave and cook it up the night before, throw it into the fridge so it's ready to go. This is a quick, like a really quick dish. The longest it's going to take is the time that it takes to cook this turkey. And we're going to just turn that up a bit. So that really is it. Um, so however long it's going to take you to brown that turkey meat is how long this is going to take to make. Because once that's done, we're just going to throw our bean sprouts and our cabbage in with our sauce. Put the lid on it for about four to five minutes. And that's it. It's done. Dinner is ready. So this that's what I love. I really love about this meal is it's quick. Um, any weeknight, any weekend, when you've got very little time, as long as you have a pound of lean ground turkey, either in the freezer or the fridge, you're good to go. And you need all you, like I said, all you need is pre-made coal, pre-chopped coleslaw. Um, but you could, if you wanted to, chop your own cabbage, uh, shred a couple of carrots, by all means. And again, you could also throw into this rice to make it a balanced meal. Um, I don't need the carbs, so I'm not going to um, put them in. So what have I got for you tonight? Um, just as an FYI, as I said, the um, summer collection, the burger summer collection, summer burger collection is ending today at midnight. So that is the burger seasoning, the big burger sauce, the cheesy fries, and for $21, and the other one being that you can get the burger press. Mine is right here. So you can add on a burger press for $8, which is ridiculous, because the burger press, I believe, in the catalog is about $19.95 or $20. So it's a good deal. All right, our turkey is getting there. Now you can strain this. Uh, there is some water in the bottom. To be honest with you, I don't always strain it because it's not fat by any means. It's extra lean ground turkey is what we're using. But I'm probably going to strain it tonight because there seems to be more than usual in here. So, um... We'll strain that off. We're just about done with our pinkness. And with that being said, I'm gonna grab a strainer out of the, because I do have a colander in the sink, but it's full of bean sprouts and cabbage. So not something I could throw my meat into. All right, let's grab one of those. And then we can strain this off, give it a minute. And I'm just breaking it down into bite size chunks so that you don't have a huge turkey chunk. All right, let's grab that strainer. Okay. So we have our strainer for our turkey. We're going to throw that into our sink. I'm going to pull out our um, coleslaw and so our cabbage, our coleslaw and our bean sprouts are on the bottom. We're going to throw that in. Uh, I still have a little bit of pink there and I just want to get that gone. So it's been roughly 
10 minutes, nine minutes, and our meat is almost cooked. I could have done this in the microwave in a couple of minutes, thrown it into our multi-purpose steamer, broke it up with our, um, or I don't even have to break it up. If it was frozen out of the freezer, I could throw it into the multi-purpose steamer, pop the lid on it, throw it into the microwave for four to five minutes, pull it out, break it up, and put it back in for a minute or two, and we would have had cooked turkey meat. So um, that's one of the things that I love about our steamer is that it's such a time saver, especially if you've left for work in the morning and you haven't taken out your protein for the evening and you get home. Uh, how many of us have done it? I'm sure we've all done it. We get home. There's nothing out of the freezer. So it's taken, right? It's call for pizza or call for Chinese. And you don't have to. With the Epicure steamer, if you have it on hand, you can defrost chicken, you can defrost ground meat, you can defrost just about anything in that steamer in minutes. So, just a tidbit. All right, this is done. So we are going to strain it off. And I'm gonna grab a piece of paper towel here and just wipe off my side. So that I don't get it on my cooktop. All right, that's back on there. Give that a shake and get rid of all of that juice. And back in goes our ground turkey. All right, ground turkey's back in. We're gonna throw in our coleslaw and our bean sprouts. Give that a bit of a stir, try to get that meat and that cabbage all somewhat mixed through. All right, the last thing that we need here is not to throw it all over the oven, all over the stove top. Hey, it happens, right? That's one of the things, the reasons why I love this wok because it is deep. I could not imagine doing this in my regular frying pan or a regular pan. It just would not, A, it wouldn't mix well, and B, I'd have more of a mess all over my stove top than I already do. So, that's all in there. Let's get our seasoning in. So again, this is just two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of sesame oil, and our package. And that is it. Now, when I was doing so years ago I was made I was on the Weight Watchers program and funny enough this recipe was a recipe that we had there um, but you had to have ground ginger real ginger in the fridge that you needed to grate you needed um, garlic ground ginger sesame oil um, soy sauce Oh, what else? I think that's all it called for. Um, and at that point, it was called egg roll in a bowl. So uh, I assure you that is exactly what this tastes like. You can also use the um, lettuce wraps. So the crispy, crunchy lettuce wraps also substitute in quite similar to the um, chicken fried rice. The only difference is the crispy crunchy lettuce wraps has a little bit of a tang to it, a little bit of a heat. Um, where this one I don't find, I'm pretty sure it's this one I don't find uh, that has the heat to it. It's the crispy crunchy lettuce wraps. All right, so I have stirred that up pretty good. 
Now all we want to do with this is we want to put our lid on and we want to let this go for about three to five minutes. And the reason for that is we want that cabbage to wilt um, to get soft and to get as soft as you like it, uh, whatever your preference is. If you like it crispy, if you still like that bite to the cabbage, then you're going to probably do it for two to three minutes. If you like it a little bit softer um, and well cooked, you're probably going to do it for about five minutes. So it's personal preference completely, but that is it. That is dinner. That is egg roll in a bowl. Um, we have taken this recipe, made it, uh, taken some rice paper wrappers or some wonton wrappers, uh, filled them, rolled them up, air fried them for a couple of minutes, um, and made actual egg rolls out of it. Um, it's just a very versatile recipe. You can use ground chicken, you can use ground beef, you can use ground um, turkey, you can use ground pork. The possibilities here are endless for this one. If you're following the recipe on the back of the book, you or on the back of the package, and you actually want to do a chicken fried rice, all you would do is use uh, your lean ground chicken or your lean um, boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can cut them into chunks, or you could use um, ground chicken. Heat it up, cook it through, add your coleslaw mix, and add some leftover white rice or brown rice. Throw in your seasoning and the same thing. You're going to pop the lid on, let it go for roughly three to five minutes, and dinner is ready. And that's how simple and quick this one is. This one can be made usually within 12 to 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's delicious. Um, there's very little, very little calories in it because it's mostly vegetables. Um, Mostly vegetables with some ground turkey, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of uh, sesame oil, and again, bean sprouts. You can add onions to this. If you like mushrooms, you can put mushrooms in. Um, as far as the vegetables go, you could use just about anything. You could use, um, I was at the grocery store tonight looking for bean sprouts. They didn't have them at the first grocery store I went to. And I thought of even substituting them with um, spiral zucchini, because I think that would work as well. Uh, it's just whatever you like. And it's gonna, um, it's gonna cook down because your cabbage obviously is going to get to wilt. Uh, so are your bean sprouts. And then that's it. Dinner is done. So thank you for joining me tonight. I will take some pictures and plate this up. I plate this up and take some pictures. Probably the better way to do it. Um, but we'll get some pictures posted for you of our finished product. We have probably two to three minutes left to go here. So I don't want to keep you too long. Um, and I'm probably done talking about, you probably are done listening to me talk about our specials and whatnot. We will have a new special tonight. Um, actually, probably tonight, later tonight, I'll get the email or first thing tomorrow. I will post that for you. It will be our special from Thursday morning to Wednesday night next week. And I can't wait to see what they're bringing out. We do have product launch coming July 1st with some new products and can't wait to get catalogs out to you and show off some of these new products that I'm hearing all about. Um, so yeah, it's an exciting two weeks. So stick with me. We will be back tomorrow night, Thursday, um, here in my kitchen and we're going to do something from the Epic Box. I think we're going to, I have some steak in the fridge. So we're going to use the steak and maybe we'll do the Montreal steak rub and we'll see how that turns out. All right. Have a wonderful evening guys and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.